Well, we know since 2020, really since COVID, movie theaters have taken a big hit with AMC, one of the biggest change, shutting down in March. Here at Imagine Theaters, you can see with big blockbusters like Barbie, Mission Impossible, and Oppenheimer, these lines are growing. Coming back and reuniting with the movie theater has been really fun. It's our second one. A Friday matinee. There's nothing quite like it. Kid, are you going to get pink cotton candy? Probably. Probably. <laughs> when COVID hit, the world as we once knew it changed forever. Tons of businesses were affected, including movie theaters, with some chains forced to shut down altogether. Imagine theaters luckily survived. COVID was gruesome for movie theaters. But as life continues to return to a new norm, the good news for many theaters is lines are growing again. Happy to be back? Yes. I think it's more exciting coming to the theater. We've come back nicely. Last year was challenging because we had supply chain constraints, which candidly we're a little concerned about now going forward given what's going on in Hollywood. But uh, we've gotten past the supply chain issues. This year we've had a much better complement of films, a better variety of films. And speaking of variety, just consider these newly released blockbusters that are pulling people back into seats. The choice is now yours. I'm coming with you. Okay. What are we here to see today? The Barbie movie. There's also Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 and Christopher Nolan's highly anticipated World War II thriller Oppenheimer. We love coming to the movie. This is probably like our fourth time coming to here in the week. In the week? <laughs> yes. So, in a world of streaming, do the good old fashioned theaters stand a chance? The truth is that going out to the movies is a different experience than watching something at home. As the saying goes, that's a wrap. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.